Now we're going to look at surface area of pyramids and cones. A pyramid is a polyhedron which has a base as a polygon and the lateral faces are triangles with a common vertex. The common vertex of the triangles is called the vertex of the pyramid. The intersection of two lateral faces is a lateral edge. The intersection of a lateral face and the base is called a base edge. And the height of the pyramid is the perpendicular distance between the base and the vertex. For a regular pyramid, a regular pyramid has a regular polygon for its base. And the segment joining the vertex and the center of the base are perpendicular. The lateral faces are all congruent isosceles triangles, and the slant height is the height of the triangles that make up the lateral faces. A non-regular pyramid doesn't have a slant height, so the slant height in this case, that, may, that blue may be a little bit hard to see, so let's darken that up some so you can see where I'm talking about right here is my slant height from the vertex and it'll come down perpendicular to a side which will also form 90 degrees and we'll divide that up into two equal parts. Remember isosceles triangle, the altitude is what we're talking about there. A regular square pyramid has a height of 15, so from the center mm -hmm. down to the center of the square, which is the base, is 15, and a base edge of length 16, find the area of each lateral face. Now, from the center of it out to an edge on that perpendicular is going to be half the length of the base edge. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to find my slant height. My height is 15 and out from the center to the edge is half of the base length, so 8 centimeters, and so I use Pythagorean theorem and I can find that the slant height in this case is 17 centimeters. So the area of each triangular face then is one half the base times the slant height. So a half of 16 times 17 is 136 square centimeters. The surface area is the sum of the areas of all the faces. So remember on that pyramid, I'm gonna have the polygon at the bottom and all of the isosceles triangles around the side. The shape of the polyhedron when unfolded is the net. So let's look at a regular hexagonal pyramid. If I want to form the net, I would simply cut along each edge of the triangles and fold it out, and that's what you would end up with. And remember that to find each of those triangles, my area is one half the length of this base here, B, times the lateral height which is the height of that triangle. Notice we have a hexagon and six isosceles triangles. My theorem says that the surface area of a regular pyramid is the sum of the base area, so I find the area of the base. If I want to get all of the triangular sides at once, I will find the perimeter of that base and multiply it times the slant height but I need half of that, because remember it's half of base times height. So the perimeter gives me all the bases, then times the height. So let's look at this one. Find the lateral area and surface area of this regular hexagonal pyramid. Well, first thing we need to start out, notice that the side length is 10, the base edge is 10 feet, and so they're in a hexagon there are six of those, so we can get our perimeter pretty easily. It gives us our slant height here of 14, and it gives us an apothem for the base. So first, let's find the area of the base using the formula for the area of a regular polygon. Perimeter is 6 times 10, or 60. So my base is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter, which is 1 half 
times 5, point square, 5 times square root of 3 times 60, which comes out to be 150 times the square root of 3. To find the lateral area, I need 1 half the perimeter times the lateral height. So that's just 1 half of 60 times 14, which is 420. And so to find the total surface area, I add those two together. So here's guided practice, one for you to try. To find the area of each lateral face of the regular pyramid. Okay, to find my area of the lateral face, first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in here and get this height right here. I can do that since I'm given the height of the pyramid and I'm given the apothem because that forms a right triangle where the hypotenuse is the lateral face. So what I have to do is say that L is equal to the square root of 4.8 squared plus 5.5 squared and that gives me that L is approximately 7.3 and so I have one half the base times the lateral height 7.3 and that gives me the area of each lateral face. So find the surface area of the regular pentagonal shown above. So to find that area, remember what I have to have. The surface area comes out to be 256 square meters. Now how did they get that? They found the area of the pentagon. Remember the area of the pentagon is one half the apothem times the perimeter. So in this case, that is one half. The apothem is 5.5 and the perimeter is five times eight or 40. So that is the area of the base. Now, my lateral area, I had one. I could just simply multiply that by five or I can do my surface area is equal to the area of the base plus one half the perimeter times the lateral area. So in this case, here was my area of the base, one half times 5.5 times 40 plus one half times the perimeter we said is one, two, three, four, five sides, eight long, that is 40, and the lateral edge we found to be 7.3. So that's how they get the 256. A cone. A cone is simply a geometric circle. It's solid with a circular base and a vertex that's not in the same plane as the base. The radius of the base is the radius of the cone. The height is the perpendicular distance between the vertex and the base. In a right cone, that's going to be the segment joining the vertex and the center of the base. And the slant height is the distance between the vertex and a point on the edge of the base, or the edge of the circle. The lateral surface consists of all the segments that connect the vertex to the base edge, so it goes around it. Let's look at this. The surface area S of a right cone is the sum of the base area and one half the circumference times the lateral height. So if we work that out, pi r square is the area of that circle. How does this become 2 or, or pi r square? Well, my circumference is 2 pi r and so my one half times two ends up canceling out. So I get pi r l here for my lateral area. B is the area of the base, C is the conference, R is the radius, and L is the slant height. So looking at this one, how are we gonna get that? Well, the first thing I need to do is find my slant half, height. Now I know my radius and I know my height, but my radius and height and these slant height, or the lateral edge, is Pythagorean theorem. So I have the square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared. 
and that's going to come out to be 10. So using the Pythagorean theorem, plugging in, I get that L is 10. Using the formula for the surface area of the cone, I need the area of my base, pi r squared, and then pi r l, so pi times 6 squared plus pi times 6 times 10 gives me 96 pi, so b is my answer here. To find the lateral area of this cone, the traffic cone can be approximated by a right cone with a radius of 5.7 and a height of 18. So from the center out is 5.7 and the height is 18. So to find the approximate lateral area, what I would need to do is get the hypotenuse of this triangle. So what I'm going to do is find my slant height by using my Pythagorean theorem. L comes out to be about 18.9 inches. So the lateral area is going to be the circum one half the circumference times that, so it comes out to be pi r l, so pi times 5.7 times 18.9, and that gives me 338.4. So the lateral that gives me the lateral area of the traffic cone. Here's a little guided practice for you to try: find the lateral area of this right cone comes out to be 1178. So how did we get that? Well, we find the lateral edge by doing square root of 20 squared plus 15 squared to get my lateral edge. So the square root of 20 squared plus 15 squared gives me 25. So that's equal to 25. And so now what I need for my lateral area is pi r l, so pi times r, which is 15, times l, which is 25. So I get pi times 15 times 25, and that comes out to be approximately 11. 78. Find the surface area of the right cone. Well, if I know my lateral area, I just have to add the base area to that. And so my base area is pi r squared, so 15 squared pi plus that lateral area. And that's how I come up with that. I have 15 pi added to the 1178 for my lateral area.